Y'all wanna go outside? What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley for those who are new here. Hello and welcome. If this is your first time here, then welcome first of all. Today it is that time of year. We are getting ready to plant up some garlic. So if you've been around on my channel before, then you've seen last year I actually ordered some garlic online. So I did not have much success with the online purchase seed. A lot of the seeds were way too small. I didn't order enough because I just wasn't sure like you know how big everything was going to be etc etc. So this year I decided to excuse my dog she's outside. Um, I decided to go on ahead and make my purchases in store at a local nursery because one I figured whatever they have local available will be better for our area. And then two, I can see exactly what I'm getting. So these are the, the types that I got. It just says an artichoke type. It doesn't have the exact variety, but it looks like, you know, they're pretty promising. They're really large heads and it looks like the, the cloves themselves are gonna turn out to be pretty large. So that's kind of what I went based off of. And I picked up two packs, same kind. Um, last year I did pick up some elephant garlic and while that was great, I wanted to get more heads. So this is what I went with. So what we need to do right now, you already seen that I prepped the area that I will be planting my garlic. But yeah, I went on ahead and prepped the same area that I used last year because Obviously, it's an area that is freed up right now. So I just want to go on ahead and get something in the ground right there. So right now, what we need to do is we need to go on ahead and pull all of these babies out of the package, first of all. And then we need to sort through our clothes to see which ones can actually go in the ground. This year, I'm going to be a lot more selective with the clothes because I realize not all the clothes we're going to be good heads of garlic so for example this first set here i will only pick ugh, the bigger ones so we got some really nice ones i got like a little bag here to catch all of the extra paper so out of the clove that i just picked i have you know, a few different sizes. So these, this one is probably like an average size. This one is obviously a little bit larger. And this is just like a puny one. All the puny ones I'm gonna set to the side. I'm gonna eat those. I know that this is seed, but it says non-GMO. So I would assume it's okay to eat. I mean, let me know down in the comment section if I should ex on eating. Uh, but yeah, I think these three sizes are still gonna be really good size heads. So these are gonna be keepers and any of the ones that I feel like are just too puny, I'm just gonna set them off to the side. They will be for eating. So I'm gonna just keep on with that process and then I'm gonna take you back outside. So let's get it. All right, y'all, I'm all done. And I went on ahead and counted how many seeds I was able to pull from the, the 12 pack. This is 108 cloves of garlic. So as long as everything, you know, turns out good, we will have 108 garlic heads. So um, that's how many I was able to actually keep. And then the amount here, I didn't count how many here, but I just wanted to show you. These are all of like the smaller 
cloves that I'm just going to actually, I'm going to peel all of these and I am going to add them into a honey mixture. If you guys want to see that, definitely make sure that you request it down in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's go back outside so we can plant these babies up. All right, you guys, so I'm done with this area here. I did about six rows of 10 cloves in each row. The spacing here, hopefully you can see, I know it's pretty bright right now, but the spacing is about three inches between each seed. So there will be plenty of space for these heads to get nice, beautiful, and big. So at this point, all I need to do is cover them up and then once I begin to see them spring up, then I will go on ahead and add a blood meal fertilizer. And I can always show you guys that later on. I'm sorry if the breeze is kind of messing up my sound, which is why most of this video was silent. But you guys, so I completely wrapped up everything that I was doing outside. And I don't know if you're like me, but if you are, you just keep going with the energy that you have to be able to get stuff done outside. I did go on ahead and finish planting all the garlic outside. And then after I did that, I still needed to till up that second part of my raised bed just because the, the soil got really compressed. So I did that and then I just got on a roll. So what I ended up doing was um, I harvested a lot of herbs. That's what's running in my little, I guess I could show you. In my dehydrator here, I have some oregano, some parsley and some basil that I needed to pull up because I'm pretty much getting rid of all of my summer stuff slowly but surely. The one thing that I kept in, um, are my tomatoes because it's still warm enough outside for those. I want as many of those to ripen on the vine as possible. So I'm gonna leave those out there for now. And then the moment that I have to get them out, I'll just do something with all the green tomatoes that I have. But I did harvest all of my paprika peppers, which as you can see, they were not ripened at all. This was the only one that had started to ripen. So I'm not exactly sure what I can do with these just yet. I'm gonna look up some stuff and figure it out, I guess. But then I also had some shishado peppers that I had left over. I'll just bring you guys over here. But yeah, I had some shishado peppers left over. And the other day I pulled up a few of my other pepper, a few of my other pepper plants. And I started this concoction here, which is just like vinegar and a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop these in here. I already washed them um, and just add them to this liquid. I believe it'll be fine. I don't think that anything can necessarily happen but i'm just going to add some more of these just because there weren't i didn't have a whole lot of peppers in the first place so yeah add those in there and then i have a ton of sage like way too much to even I don't even know what I can do so I did put some aside because I want to make some sage honey I just need to pick up some locally sourced honey to add to this jar so I can infuse this and then I have you guys so I already dried some out and I packed some in here but I have two more two more trays 
full to figure out what the heck to do with. And I actually still have a ton of sage left over from last year. I got the hiccups, y'all. As you can see, I'm a pregnant lady. So there's a lot going on right now, which is also why I needed to, you know, use the energy that I had to get stuff done. And I didn't necessarily wrap up the video, but now this has turned more into like a vlog. Again, while I have the energy, I need to figure out a way to, you know, use all of this stuff. I might end up gifting some sage to my mom because I know that she enjoys getting fresh sage. If you guys have some ideas for things that I can use sage for, um, it's a perennial plant. It's not like I plant this every year because I probably wouldn't given the amount that I have. But if you guys have ideas for things that I can do with dried sage other than you know using them to cook definitely drop some ideas down in the comment section below um i'm going to go on ahead i'm going to get get on back to work because yeah i just want to you know get this wrapped up but i just wanted to share everything that's going on if you guys want to see more garden updates if you guys like this style of video let me know because this is probably a little bit easier for me than to like do a walkthrough or, you know, anything else. I can just bring you guys along with me now that I have a decent tripod to, you know, actually process this stuff as I'm getting it in. So yeah, again, I thank you guys so much for stopping by on this channel. I know this was like not formal at all. Like I said, scatterbrained pregnant lady over here but again i thank you all i wish you all health wealth and prosperity and until the next time peace out